Hello and welcome to Mr. E's Watch Reviews. Today we got a unboxing from MMI. Mr. Wee has sent me a couple of his brand new cuddle corns. Uh, hopefully, I have one of each because I know there's a bronze and then there's uh, a stainless steel. But I don't know what he sent me. I don't know which colorways I got. <coughs> but let's check these out. All right. It looks like somebody else might have already had these pieces. If not, this box has been roughed up. All right. Let's see what we got. Ooh, this is a stainless steel one. Oh, yeah. Of course, it's a blue one, too. Man. Duncan, you're really going to fucking want to check this out. I already know this. My buddy Duncan is going to be getting uh, the cuddle corn sent to him also. Luckily, there's already a, a pair of them in the UK. So we got an on-the-fly adjustment. Nice. Oh, that works good, too. Screw link bracelet. Looks like, yep, screw links. Very nice articulation. I don't know. I... I I know a lot of people like really big into these kind of like cases and stuff. <clears throat> at first, I honestly was not into it at all. Um, oh, shit. I'm sorry. We'll get back to that. Hang on. This bezel action. Holy shit. Wow. That. That is some awesome bezel action. Wow. That is fantastic. Can y'all hear that? Hang on. I'm sorry. I wish y'all could see the big ass grin on my face right now. Like this bezel action is just, I mean, it is fantastic. It is superb. Let's see. I want to try and grip this crown. All right. This is the way the crown is in the case here. It does sit awfully flush. All right. All right. It popped out. I just had unscrewed it enough. Let's give it a wind. Oh, that feels good. I believe uh, Mr. Wee is going with the Miyota <clears throat> 9015 for the movement in this. I'll have to double check, but I'm pretty sure that's what it is. Oh, man. Yeah, no, that, that that's actually not too bad right there. It is a little hard to grip because it's so flush with the case, but it's not impossible. But it definitely going to take some pinchers to get it done. That that's nice, smooth action. Now, again, the beveling on the bottom here looks like it's really high polished, and that that looks like it's going to really add to how how this watch wears. Of course, you know they also do the. Quick release and links for the bracelet here. But this is one of these deals where uh, I think you're really going to want to keep it on that bracelet. I don't know how to get that thing sized up, but let, let, let's see what the other one is. All right. And of course, you know, you get the nice MMI traveling pouch and stuff like that too. But man, this thing is nice.
Like I wasn't expecting that that level of quality on the the bezel. Like honestly, it feels as good as as you know. Maybe not quite that good, but it's it's like super close. Like it's like it's really close. That that's very top notch luxury feeling. It kind of feels a little Seiko ish, but like super smooth. Like that's even more buttery smooth than my my turtle, uh, which has got a really nice bezel action. Jody can vouch for that, uh, as he's the one that traded traded me for it. Oh, let's see. I I had a feeling. All right. Ooh, wow. Holy shit, that just pops. Man. The color combo on this is fantastic. And I don't really like that color yellow or green or yellowish green or whatever. Like, but that's dope. Now, odd, this bezel action feels different than this one. Okay, so these two got different bezel actions. I don't know if that's just because it's bronze or what, but it does line up. Things line up nice. But yeah, I mean, there's there's definitely a different feel between these two as far as like the, the bezel action. This one feels more luxury. Um, this one feels good, but it, this, this one has like a buttery smoothness to it. You, I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but all my Genoa owners and Rolex uh, owners, modern ones anyways, would definitely understand what I'm saying there about that buttery kind of feel. All right, let's get this thing on the wrist. Man, that's not too bad at all. I don't know. Let's see, I never got to see the Dumbo. And, like, the Dumbo is my buddy Duncan's, like, favorite MMI watch. Um, just on paper, the dimensions just scared me off. And, you know, uh, again, like, this case shape. Because it's just so different. It's like, you know, at, at first I, it takes me, like, I, I have a knee jerk reaction of, ugh, but I actually really like this. And not just because Mr. Wee sent them to me, but this is a right nice looking watch. I really like the color combination. I'm sorry, I have the hiccups. Uh,. But no, I really like the color combination on this. This is this, this is a very different. And the brushing on this, you have a very vertical up and down brushing here on the sides, and you know, nice polished beveled edge here on the bottom. Now I know these only have 150 meters water resistance. Um, I think that's due to the style of case back that they use. Uh, you know, again, get a cool little cuddle, cuttlefish on here, which is uh, kind of what they're going for. Like the other one was based on the Dumbo uh, squid. So this one is based off of the cuddle, uh, cuttlefish. These are both in the same family. <clears throat> but it has just, you know, the four screws here uh, holding the case back down. So that's most likely what is limiting uh the water resistance, but 150 meters is way deeper than I'm ever going to go. And like 99% of all of y'all are probably going to ever go. But I think you'd definitely be attracting some fish because I know this is a fully loomed dial. All right. Wind this one up. You know, and again, you got your orange second hand and the little orange indicator in there for the date uh i like that it might especially with the response combination it, it's really popping uh here we go we just change that dates do 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 yeah 
Now, sometimes Mr. Wee goes this way with the date, and sometimes he goes that way with the date. So it just it just depends on the movement he's using, I'm guessing. But I swear, you know, I'd have to look at the two MMIs that I own, but I, I swear they both go different directions. Uh, the leather on this is very thick, like very nice leather, and it's very soft. It does feel like it would take some breaking in, though. Uh, like it, it doesn't doesn't really want to flex that much. Um, you you can tell that you know not a lot of people have worn it. Worn it. Let's see. I bet this is way too big. Good lord, a gargantuan was wearing this. Uh, looks like I need to take out two links. All right. I'll grab a little screwdriver. I'm going to do that real fast. Do, 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 do. Just take out two from this side. Do, 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 do. So how are y'all doing? Today is Friday. I got to come home. And these were all sitting here waiting to warm me. Couldn't wait to check these out. Can't wait to hear what my buddy Duncan's got to say about them. Is like I said, Duncan has been looking forward to like a re-release of the Dumbo. And yeah, I think this one actually works out better because the size is just a little bit smaller. Um, I'll bust out the micrometer here in a minute. Uh, but, or the veneer calipers, as some of y'all like to call them. But, looks like I need to take out a few more. Yeah. Looks like I need at least another link out. Good Lord. My itty bitty wrist committee. Biscuit eater. Just glad I didn't stab myself in the finger. I tell you what, <clears throat> we're gonna go ahead and take two out. Because since it has the on the fly, we can always let it out a little bit. Mm. Of course, I cut all my fingernails off now. Ow. Dab it right into the meat of the fingers under the nail. That always feels so awesome. So awesome. All right, there we go. <clears throat> All right. Ah, see, I nailed it right on the money. I did good that time. Yeah. That feels really good. Like I cannot actually believe it. Believe it does. Um, like I am really in shock. You right right now, you guys. I mean, I was so curious about this watch. You know what I mean? Because I kept seeing the pictures of it and the squareness of it. I'm not gonna lie; it just was kind of turning me off. Like it did not look like it would feel this good, but. Like the overall size of the K shape and the way this bracelet is, like it really just kind of kind of conforms to the wrist. And like, because I have kind of a rectangular fucking wrist, anyways, like mine's not really round. You know what I'm saying? Like, you see what I mean? Like, it actually, you know, fits my arm like perfect. Wow. That's so crazy. Now, it's got a good presence to it. Like, it's got some heft. Let's weigh these out, you know. And I'm going to weigh it as it was sized for me. All right, size for me, it's weighing in at 168 
88 and with the extra links that I took out the four links 18390 all right the bronze does not come on a metal bracelet so it, you'll get it on a leather uh pretty much you get it with leather 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 or leather uh i don't know if it comes in brown and black or just brown but let's throw that on there that's weighing in at only 97.6 grams all right so let's do some measurements real fast Turn that on, zero it out. All right, so across here, it's coming in at 41.7. And from corner to corner, we got 47.7 going across that way. Uh, the bezel itself measures at 40.7. And let's see, of course, now that I done did all that up. Uh, let's see, I'll pop that out of there. Let's see what a one of these end links weighs up. Twenty-two millimeter end links. And we're gonna just take that off. Get a total length of the watch. Total length is forty-one point six, and the thickness. Right around 12.4 millimeter and a crown size of 6.6 .6 millimeter. So, very nice dimensions, you know. And again, all the components here are just very high quality, just very well made. And it's just one of the things that I've kind of come to expect about any of the MM, MMI watches that I've reviewed, you know, with the exception of one prototype. That, you know, again, it was a prototype that had been around and uh, the bracelet was not properly fit to that watch. You know, the end links weren't. Um, and like, like I said, er, with the exception of that one, uh, every other MMI watch has just been exceptional. Um, and again, you know, the watch itself, that watch itself... Uh, but I mean, it was all right. You know, uh, it was a sky hunter. Um, it, it, you know, nice white dial, decent looking watch. Uh, but I, I prefer the ones that I wound up getting much better. Um, like I wound up, like I purchased a Norlite and I purchased, uh, the GMT turret. I think that's a very cool watch. And I like the bezel action on the turret, but the bezel action here on this stainless steel model is fantastic. I mean, like I am just really, really impressed with that. Just blown away. Super, super happy. Um, I'm going to pause this so I can go grab a flashlight. Actually, I don't know. These things have been sitting underneath this light. They should be able to glow in the dark pretty good. Hang on, let me turn off this other light. There you go. We're going to give them all the benefit of the doubt. Whoa! Alright. Turn that off. And let's see what we got. Ooh. Alright. So it looks like we got a fully loomed bezel here on a stainless steel model. It looks like BGW9 or one of the bluish ones like that. Man, that is really good. And this one here has got the fully loomed dial along with all the indices and the bezel. This is nice, but the the dial, especially here on the camera, um, 
is drowning out the rest of the the loom, which you know I don't know. Like here, to my naked eye, uh, th- like this thing is just really bright, and it looks more yellow. Uh, like the the dial itself does, but it's I mean, to the naked eye, it, it looks fantastic. I, I really, I really like that. That that is just very cool looking. Very interesting pieces. All right, let's turn on some lights. All right, so uh, Mr. Wee is doing a Kickstarter campaign. Um, so you guys should still put in your orders for one of these if you want uh, to try and get one. Um, the Kickstarter campaigns do come uh, with like little extra bonuses and stuff like that, I guess. Uh, I don't know. I've never actually participated in one of the Kickstarters. Uh, and I'll, I'll be perfectly honest. I, I don't really know that much about Kickstarter, but you need to go over there or, you know, he'll have these on his website. Um, but I'll have a, a link to the Kickstarter campaign down below and also to his website, uh, down below in the description. Um, I'll tell you what, let's throw these things on the time grapher and just see what they're doing. Uh, and while I'm turning all that on. Uh, if y'all wouldn't mind, you know, maybe hitting the like, the subscribe, and, you know, preferably, if some of y'all, you know, maybe, uh, join the memberships, we'd be able to do a little more contributing to the community and, uh, other wonderful things around the world. Plus, we'll be able to get a few more watches in to show you guys. All right. And no, just so you guys know, I, I am not paid for anything that you guys have seen here today. Mr. Lee just let me, Mr. Wee is just let me borrow the watches. Um,. Because, you know, again, I can't remember exactly how much these are running, but I want to say it's like 250 or 300 bucks. You know, I've bought a ton of watches over the years, and like right now, a lot of them I couldn't resell for a quarter of the money that I spent on them. Um, which would be another video for another day, but... Uh, some of the watches that I could get the most money for would be my actual micro brands like MMI, Helm, Jeannot. Uh, they've all held their value, but all the Chinese watches, you know, you go on any of the Facebook marketplaces and stuff like that, you can't, you can't get your money back on them. You know, you really can't. Well, it looks like this thing is running quite nice. Yeah, I'm not sure the lift angle. We're just going to leave it at 52. Uh, but zero beat error. Minus one to minus four. So very nice on that one. Let's check out the stainless steel. And we're going to look at the brushing on this, the stainless steel case. Well, this one looks like it needs to be wound up a little bit more. Amplitude just a bit low. Well, I hope everybody's doing okay after the hurricane and all that stuff. You know, everybody down in Florida, especially out to the west of me in North Carolina, on up through Tennessee and Kentucky and all that. Oh. oh.
Yeah, this one's also looking like it's running quite respectably. Like I'm sure, I'm almost positive. Yeah, it's the the Miata 9015 is what what's in these watches. I want to say it's the same movement that's what's in my Nor Norlight, but very reliable, very accurate, very good running. All right, so. Again, here on the, the stainless steel, you got kind of a grainy brushing that's vertical up and down. And then you get the high polished edges up underneath. And like I said, this thing, this this really does feel good on the wrist. Like, if I, if I wasn't so worried about scratching up the clasp and the bracelet for whoever's going to review it next, I'd wear this bad boy to the shop and like just just test it out. Wear it, wear it for a day, see how it feels. But I mean, it's slim and looks like it's kind of got a domed sapphire too because it's got some distortion to it. Like now that I'm looking at it, especially from the side here, yeah, this one's got a dome, domed sapphire. Does this one got a domed sapphire? Yeah, it does. <clears throat> yeah, they both do. Yeah, I don't, yeah there, there we go. See, you got this, that distortion right there. I don't know, that's pretty cool. Like, I don't know, I just, I, I really like this. You got the ceramic insert, sapphire, uh, sapphire glass, you know, really sexy bezel, on the fly adjustment. I mean, you know, pretty unique. This is, this is a very nice watch. And like the blues on this, I do like the blues. Like it's a nice kind of a navy blue, but not too dark. You know what I mean? Like it's 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 blue. You know, you, there's no question. It's not black. I hate it when it, it gets so dark that you can't tell if it's black or blue. Uh, but yeah, no, I like this. You know, it's got that nice metallic looking bezel, or not bezel, but dial. And the orange hands and the orange date, especially pop against it. I mean, this looks really, really good. And of course, both of these got uh, well into dark crowns. So, uh, well, I hope you guys are having a good Friday. Um, you guys take care, take it easy, and please go check out Mr. Wee's uh, website and his Kickstarter campaign. All right. Check y'all later. Bye.